Thank you. Great, thank you so welcome much. Welcome, thank you. Welcome to Marcus Arena Jiu Jitsu oh, Academy. Yes, thank you for welcoming us in your academy. Yes, it's a pleasure having you here. Uh, we've been in this area for seven years now, North Miami Beach area. Um, we teach all kinds of martial arts, but mostly self defense. Correct. The fundamentals of self defense. We teach everyday people, people like me, like um, women of all ages, men of all ages, kids. Um, how to defend themselves. Correct. Yeah, correct. I took the class. Thank you very much for yes, allowing me in the yes, class. Yes, it's a pleasure. It was a great class. I learned a lot about self-defense. I'm glad. Um, a lot of people don't know because they see you on TV as a TV star and now as a musical star. You're also a coach here, an instructor here with Marcus Aurelio. Yes, yes. Who has been a UFC fighter, UFC pride, pride fighter, yes. fifth degree black belt in jiu-jitsu. Yes, absolutely. Uh, really, it's really incredible that South Florida can have so much talent in a school they can drive to and take absolutely, advantage of it. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's a pleasure. I've been, I've been training for, for seven years now. I'm a purple belt in, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and I'm so happy. It has changed my life. Martial arts can change everybody's lives and you know that. You're, yeah. you're a living proof of that. So thank and, you. And what I like also is that you have a curriculum. You follow a yes. curriculum and a procedure. Very absolutely. professional. Mm -hmm. So I felt comfortable. I felt safe. But I worked out. I sweat. And I learned. I had a great time. Awesome. And we were actually, I was talking with Sensei Aurelio mm -hmm. that that's the real professional elite way of training yes. is to follow a curriculum, a foundation, follow a foundation so everybody gets the features and the benefits of the martial arts. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Master Marcus always mentions when, when he was a pro fighter under um, ATT, um, you know, like when they first opened the academy, they were sparring full speed, they were hurting each other until they actually got a pro um, boxing coach who came in and said, hey, you guys are doing it the wrong way. You cannot hurt yourself because when you got a fight, then you're going to be hurt. You injured. cannot, you know, you're going to be injured. You cannot do um, um, a great job in the ring. So Correct. that's the right way to do it. You know, like you go live, you learn the technique, you drill the technique. And um, I'm super happy. Yeah. I've been here for seven years, never got injured. No, and you develop a correct fundamentals and skills. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for adding to the professionalism and people can enjoy the benefits and the future of the martial arts. Thank you. What is uh, your social media handle so they can contact yes. you? Yes, so you can go to Marcus Aurelio BJJ at, in, on Instagram and Marcus Aurelio BJJ on Facebook. You can also find us under www.marcusaureliobjj.com or aureliomartialarts.com. And this area here is? Them. This is North Miami Beach. We're located right next to Sunny Isles on 163rd. There is an epic movie theater. This is called the Intracoastal Mall. Correct. So everybody's welcome to. Uh, and to you have come classes at, uh, Monday through Saturday, correct? Monday through Saturday. On Monday, we have adults' fundamental classes uh, Monday to Friday at 7 p.m. And on Saturdays at 11.15, we have kids' classes. Kids start at age three. We separate them by age um, and um, their their development. So it's a really good, uh, really good place for you to bring your kids to. Awesome! So thank you for hosting us. Thank you. And you know the 305 promotes and sponsors all the martial arts because we know the benefit and the future of the martial arts. 305 donde surgen los campeones. Ooh, I want to show you something. I want to show you his um, his pride um, pride prizes. Okay. Yeah. That's one for Pride Bushido, that's the second one for Pride Bushido, and that third one is very special because that's when he defeated the undefeated champion in Japan, um, Takanori Gomi, that one right there. So I love, I love showing that one. <laughs> I, I love the pictures of him uh, Oh yeah, in that's competition. Zast. Yes, that's on Zast. He's going to come over this way. That's also in Japan. That's lightweight. There he is. You know, there are some really cool facts about Master Marcus. He has never been finished or knocked out in an MMA competition. We always going to have the indicator. That second, that I say. Three five fights where the champions rise. Tres cero cinco donde suben los campeones. We have the privilege and the honor to be in Marcus Aurelio's Jiu Jitsu Academy. It, he let us take the class. I took the class. I swear I learned. Thank you so much for letting me take the class. Thank you guys for coming. It was a pleasure. Uh, we are so lucky that we have a world class elite talent in Miami that we can train. We can come into the school and train. You're a UFC fighter, Pride fighter, uh, 
fifth degree black belt in jiu-jitsu. Tell me some of the highlights of what uh, your career, so South Florida knows about your career. Yeah, I think a big, a good time in my career was when I was in Pride. I fought Pride. You know, I was one of the few guys that had the privilege, privilege to fight in Pride. And then later on I came to so I had a couple of fights in FC also, so I've been training Jiu-Jitsu pretty much my whole life. I started when I was a kid, eight years old. Correct. He does seminars all around the world, all around the United States. Uh, I believe you had at one time the fastest submission in the UFC? Yes, yes. I think I'm still holding that record. I don't know. I gotta check it. Awesome. Something, because I ha since I have you, I gotta take advantage of you. Show me one of your favorite techniques for, for, for to win a championship, to be a professional fighter, UFC fight, fight. What is one of your favorite techniques and help us do that technique? Well, I have a bunch, but one of that comes in my mind now, um, I like to do the katagatami, the, we call katagatami is the Japanese name, or the arm triangle. So, maybe we can go here from the half guard, and I'm on top, right, crossing, and I'm gonna find a way to bring his arm over here, this arm over here, so I can, you know, I can put on my pressure, see, I'm moving my body forward, I cut his, uh, behind his armpit, and I move my body forward, and I, bring a kind of pressure on his shoulder, uh, on his face here with my shoulder. So I know the arm is gonna show up here, see? When the arm is about to show up here, I stick left and I push, right? Kind of control that with my skin for him not to bring it back. Got it? Here, palm up, and the one that goes under his neck, under his head, palm down. Now I start to move forward. See, I squeeze my elbows in and start to move forward. And I'm gonna try to achieve the mount from here. See, when I achieve the mount, we have two options here. A lot of people, that if, they, if you have an average person here, they might gonna tap right now with this pressure. Got it? But if they resist, if a strong guy resists and he don't tap, I gotta go to this side, okay? There's two ways here that I like to do it. So notice that I'm completely flat and I wanna keep him flat. Got it? Now I'm gonna move my body. Uh, I wanna achieve a 90 degree angle, see? Before that, you see, he's already tapping. See, I'm squeezing my elbows and I, and I move, sorry. And I move, look, he's already tapping. When I achieve the 90 degree angles, he's tapping, right? But let's say I got here and the guy is super strong. He's still resisting. So what I like to do now, I'm gonna push him forward a little bit that way. Right, push him forward a little bit. Now, I switch the grip to a, a real naked choke grip, and I move my body to a base boy slide. This one is brutal, look. Sorry. If you prefer, you can go straight to the second option. The second option is- I like right? the second option because not only do you have the strangulation, but the pressure on the, the pressure, chest. pressure, exactly. It's a kind yeah. of two submissions. Lately, uh, for the, the last five, six years, I've been loving the second option. This Since one. It, can you do something? Can you do the first one and then transfer to the second one? For yes. The, for the camera? Exactly. Here. Again, slow. Right? We have a few options here. You might gonna tap here. Boom. If you don't tap here, we get on the side. Right? Keep it flat. Keep moving flat. And he might gonna tap. Boom. If Gomi desperately trying to escape from the bottom. That arm triangle is sunk in there. It's, it's, it's it. It's it. It's it. It's over. it's over! It's over! If, if, if I'm here and he don't tap, I say the guy is a, is a giant. He's still resisting, right? So now I'm gonna go my toes a little bit. I push him sideways. <laughs> Sorry. Here and then I switch. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna twist him a little bit to my left side. Look. See, my weight is on him here. Like he said, the pressure here is, is brutal. And then, I twist. You know, and the details is everything. And that's yeah. why you see really professional elite, they develop skill by details, is that you, your, your shoulder really work, you really press the shoulder into the lock. Yeah. Usually I just feel, feel the arm, but when you started moving up forward and you put the shoulder, uh -huh. that's when it started tightening up. That's, yes. Then, um, because if I don't put the shoulder, that's a, a great question, actually. Um, how I'm gonna bring his arm up, right? Sometimes. Correct, correct. If People fight with the arm. And they'll be like, here, yeah, no. you know, a lot of strange. So what I like to do, it, I keep squeezing my elbows and I bring my shoulder, right see? There. I bring the pressure. Now his arm is gonna come without me have to fight that. 
Then I'm gonna cap capitalize that. Boom. See? Here, if I'm here, he's comfortable. He's not gonna give me the arm up. So I, I don't even like to fight here. If he push me there and he, he stop me, I just keep my hands there. And I go hand to hand and my shoulder starts to, see? Then the arm's coming. That's when I bite. It's a very important detail because that's a great question. Let's say I'm a, I'm not a big guy. I'm about 185. Uh, let's say if I have a 250 pound guy on the, on the bottom. For me to, to drag their arm, it's not an option. It will be really hard, right? But when I bring the shoulder on his neck, he's gonna, he's gonna get super nervous. He's gonna try to, and he's bring their arm in. Correct. So, and you used your, you not your physical force, but your weight. Yes. Correct. Yes. You know, I, I love to say that Jiu Jitsu is all about technique, it's all about alavancas. We call alavancas <laughs> in Portuguese, right? In, uh, I think Spanish also, alavancas. Uh, leverage. Leverage, right? see. Yeah. And uh, it's palancas, you say. Palancas? Yeah. I learned that. <laughs> palancas. So, technique, leverage, right? Yes, and I love, I love that transition how you gain the leverage. Exactly. Thank you very much, Sensei. I appreciate Good. it. Good. <laughs> Thank you. It's awesome.